Awesome. So thanks for joining everybody. Uh, this is Nate and Michelle from the Office of Learning and Innovations, and we just wanted to help everybody kind of have a walkthrough of how you could set up a Promethean board with Google Meet for your student learning and teaching in a couple of different ways. So I'm going to let Michelle take over and step up to the Promethean. Hi, everyone. Um, so today I'm going to start by showing you how to get Google Meet going um, on your Promethean board in the OPS setting. So we're going to start with that. First thing you're going to want to do is you need to have the Google Meet app installed. So if you do not have that installed, you're going to want to go to the Google Play Store and then you will go through signing into your account and installing the Google Meet app. Once you have the app installed, then you can go ahead and add it to your homepage. And it looks like this. It's sort of a teal uh, bubble with a little video recorder inside. So once you have the app installed, again, you wanna make sure you're in OPS. You can click on the bubble and it will take you to the screen. This is where you're going to join a meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and my meeting is already scheduled. So if that is a calendar invite, it will automatically come through on your Google Meet. And then you can go ahead and click on join. If you're setting up a new meeting, you have that option also, or if you have a meeting host. So I'll go ahead and click on join. So here I am in my Google Meet. We have a couple different computers set up for student views. Okay, so here's me, here I am in this meeting. And you can see at the top, you have the same icons that you do in a regular Google Meet. So if I click on those, you can see it shows that I, there are three people in the meeting. So this is this, there's Nate, hey Nate. <laughs> the second option is to have your chat window and it works just the same as it does at Google Meet. So we'll go back to the main screen here and then you have the option as you saw here um, for your mic to leave the call and then also to have your video recording as you're recording. So those are the options in Google Meet. Uh, you can conduct your meeting right here. And then once your meeting is finished, you'll just go ahead and hang up to leave the meeting. So that is a simple way to use Google Meet if you're in the OPS mode, input mode on your Promethean board. So here we are inside the Google Meet app, but if you don't want to use the app on the Promethean board, you can also directly use your Chromebook. So here I am on my Chromebook, and say I wanted to share my screen. Um, I can go ahead and... Okay, so now I'd like to show you what, this, what my screen looks like here on the Chromebook. Um, that's what you're seeing up here on the Promethean board. So if you wanted to share something um, or present your screen, then you can use your Chromebook to do that. So I'll go ahead and present now, and then I will select what I want to share. And then I'll go ahead and share that with the meeting. And then of course, as you know, once you're finished with that, you can you can stop sharing and then go back to your meeting and conduct your meeting as normal. Um, so that is another option for you if you choose to use your Chromebook instead of the app on Promethean and the OPS. So um, as you can see, we have multiple Chromebooks set up here. Um, if you wanted to, you could use one Chromebook as you're presenting, and then you can use another Chromebook to be viewing other members of your meeting. Anyone else who's participating in your meeting, that's another option for you. Awesome, thanks Michelle. So as you can see, it's possible to be logged into the same meeting multiple times, and Michelle did a great job of showing us that. It's wonderful just to know that you can use one device to view your students, another device to um, you know, present things, and remember that your Promethean board, if you're using the OPS and the, the Android app that's on there, that can count as its own device as well. So there are so many flexible ways you can use this. Uh, we hope that you'll choose the way that works best for you and your students. And please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.